Mr. Stevens presented to the clinic with complaints of abdominal distension and diarrhea. Following a thorough history and physical examination, his doctor determines that his pretest probability of celiac disease is 40%. The doctor then decides to order a clinical test for celiac disease that has a sensitivity of 90% and a specificity of 80%. What is the post-test probability that Mr. Stevens has celiac disease if the test comes back negative? To answer this question, let's go straight to the final line of the vignette. The question is asking for the post-test probability of disease in a patient with a negative test, or in other words, the false emission rate. To help us answer this question, let's start by filling in the 2x2 sample table. If the pretest probability of disease is 40%, then in a cohort of 100 people, 40 would have the condition and 60 would not. Because the sensitivity of the test being used is 90%, in this cohort there are 36 true positives and 4 false negatives. The number of true positives is calculated by multiplying the number of people with the condition, 40, by the sensitivity of the test, 0.9. And since the specificity of the test is 80%, there would be 48 true negatives and 12 false positives. The number of true negatives is calculated by multiplying the number of people without the condition, 60, by the specificity of the test, 0.8. The false emission rate, that is, the post-test probability of disease in a patient with a negative test, is then calculated by dividing the number of false negatives, 4, by the total number of negative tests, 52. In this case, the false emission rate is 8% or in fraction form, 1 over 13. If you would like some help answering these types of questions, check out our website and download our USMLE Boss Statistics app. Also, feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions.